So I'm going to be, be playing The Collective, which is a, a beta playbook that we're going to test out. So my character's name is Mason X583. Mason is, is a white humanoid. Uh, he's about the size of a 11-year-old kid. And his main power is that he can multiply himself basically as many times as he wants, but there's a, a limit in the sense that the more bodies that he creates and the longer he keeps these bounds, um, the more that his power drains. So short bursts of a lot of characters works fine, but then once it starts becoming more than, let's say, a minute, he's probably limited to maybe two or three in the, in the beginning. Uh, in terms of moves, I have... I have many mouths and I must scream, which is when you directly engage a threat using a mental assault, you may, may roll plus freak instead of plus danger. If you do, you may pick options from Pierce the Mask list as well. On a 7 to 9, they may also ask you a question from the latter list, and on a 10 plus, you can take influence over them. And then the second one is all over it. When you send someone you trust to do something important for you, which in, in my case would be probably be some of my clones, you roll plus superior on a hit, they do it. And on a 7 to 9, um, I pick 1. And on a 10 plus, I pick 2 options from the list. And the list is basically uh, if they are able to pull it off in what manner and if there's trouble being caused by this move. I'm super excited to see that one in action. Yeah, that will be fun. I'll start with a little blurb about my backstory, and then we'll fill in the ones that I didn't answer yet. Um, Sounds good. Uh, so Mason X583 is from a planet where everybody is a clone of each other. So basically the entire planet is one big hive mind, but everybody has their individuality. Um, there's no pure mind reading or anything like that going on, but everybody looks the same. Everybody is named after their profession. So I am a Mason because names matter very little to us. And then one day he selected, uh, he's just started working and he selected for the high honor of um, getting to go out to the asteroid belt and pick out a new batch of stone from the quarries to be used in, in the building they're building. And when he gets that far out, um, he starts hearing voices and he realizes that he can talk to people telepathically, like very minor psionic abilities. And it turns out that that's um, a very common disease for people of his race to get, but it doesn't. Re nobody really knows what it is. And it's less that there's an ability that manifests, but more like there's a very deafening sound, sound that suddenly quieted, causing you to be able to hear things that you wouldn't hear before. Uh, on his return trip, he uh, gets in a collision with a meteor, and his space pod is flung deep into space. Um, and ends up being picked up by Saber, who, because of his specific skills, give him a job as a construction worker working on their new moon base. Let's see the questions. So how did you come to be? I've answered. Why did you decide to join a team? Because I want to learn more about what it is to not be a number, but to actually be your own person. And I want to learn how to work in a group which is something our race doesn't really do. So who do you trust? Um, I trust Esther Hargrave, who is the head engineer on the moon base. Um, she's kind of the one that's my boss and took me in and showed me what to do. But it's more of a utilitarian relationship. She's my boss. And then how do you compare other beings compared to yourself? Uh, I think that I, since I come from a race that even though they're one huge hive mind of clones, we all have our individuality on our planet, so I think I fit right in with humans. It's just that I don't really understand all the intricacies of being so different within one species. Cool. Uh, is there anything else you want to add, or does anyone have any question? You may have said this already. What pronouns does Mason use? Okay, so I, uh, I d identify as male, but I probably don't have a gender in the way that humans have a gender. Cool. Because everybody's a direct clone oh. of everybody else. So. How old is is Mason, I guess, in, in human terms and also in the terms of his, of his species? Yeah, that's a very good question. So um, everybody is cloned, so they're all born adults in the sense that we don't have 
our race doesn't grow visually older. Everybody looks the same. Um, but I started counting my age when I arrived um, with Saber, which is about uh, 11, 12 years ago. Is when I and that's when I start counting because that's when I my individuality started. Cool, I like that. Moon Harper Extended is part of the Icy Near Presents Network and is produced by Anthony Sheets and TP Hugh. Anthony can be found on Twitter at Icy New Year or at IcyNewYear.com. T is the host of Incubator On Air, a new play podcast available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, and Google Play. She can be found at T. Playwright on Twitter or TPHuth94 on Instagram. This issue was GM'd by me, Anthony Sheets. Jet is played by EXPHP. You probably won't find him at It's EXPHP on Twitter, but it's worth a try. Mason is played by Simon Meskins. You can find him on Twitter as at Gilberecki. Portali is played by Elliot Peterson. She can be found at Elliot Yelen on Twitter. Stardust is played by T. Hugh. Our logo was designed by Beautiful Beasties. She can be found on Instagram at beastly.doodles or at patreon.com slash beautifulbeasties. The music for this issue was Work by Kevin McLeod. A link to his license and site will be found in the episode notes. If you want to get a hold of us, email us at moonharborheroes at gmail.com or find us on Twitter at moonharborcast. If you enjoyed this issue, please leave us a review on iTunes and tell a friend. Word of mouth and five-star reviews are really the best way for us to keep bringing these stories to more people. If you'd like to support us financially, check us out on patreon.com slash moonharborheroes. Supporting us there will give you access to bonus episodes each month. And uh, thanks for helping us save the world. We'll see you next issue.